Hello and welcome to this tutorial on shattered glass. Now I'm uh, using a uh, car that's already been had the, the screen painted in a greys and blue and starting with a black and it doesn't matter what black you're starting with. I'm going to do this on the rear windscreen just to show as an example. Uh, so we're starting off by putting a just like a round dot, uh, or it doesn't have to be. It doesn't even have to be round. It could be any shape. But you don't have to worry about it being perfectly round, because um, even bullet holes aren't perfectly round. To um, get that one on there, make that to dry. Then I'm using some white grey. Now this is where I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a lines. Um, not straight, just, just just random lines from the the middle of the like, well, from the edge of the whatever black shape you've you've done, and you can make it kind of like a almost like a spider's web effect, and this is the one I'm going for, and just put the lines on all the way around. So yeah, as I was saying, the the windscreen was done. I blacked out all the glass. And then I did a bit of a blend with blue and a blue grey, and uh, going up to the black and just kind of blending it in. So the white grey should look okay on this. I think it looks okay. That looks a bit weird when you start off, but just doing kind of zigzaggy type lines <clears throat> going around. I've basically just done a circle on this this example, but you can do it with different shapes and patterns. And go out as far as you will, you know, you want to, and that's absolutely fine, you know. As you can see, some are brighter than others, and that's <clears throat> and that's cool as well because uh, broken glass tends to be uh, tends to go white where it cracks and gets whiter. Um, so here I'm just doing a like a, like I say a sort of spider web effect joining the lines up and the more as you go around it starts to it starts to take shape then you can see it coming together like I say any black will do but I'm using white grey I, I, you could probably do white in fact um, I could go on and do extra highlights at the end with white like pure white uh, but I figured this was enough for a, a tabletop piece of scenery. And, um, yeah. So I'm really not um, being too fussy with it. I'm just getting the lines on there. Making that a cracked glass. So you're going around the hole, which is what the black represents, essentially. So, uh, I mean, it's up to you if you do like a big one, say on the front of the windscreen, if you want to um, paint like, you know, the insides, like paint seats and steering wheels and things like that. But that's, that's, that's fine. So just keep going around, doing what I'm doing here. I'm doing it in real time, so to show you, so I didn't cut anything out. This is literally everything I did. The, when that's dried we're going back to white grey and we're going to be using a dry brush and a really 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 light dusting and you're literally stippling around um, to represent the the finer shattering I suppose where the glass gets that that kind of white effect that all around where the grass is the glass is broken Going back to black, just to tidy up the hole because um, that wouldn't have any white on it. So um, make sure you do that after. When you can put, you can adjust the shape of your hole. At this point, do a few extra different jaggedy edges or something to represent the broken glass. That's kind of cool. You, you just you can you know, go nuts, go crazy with whatever you want to do. As you can see, it, it I think it looks all right. I mean, it, it's not super realistic. It's kind of cartoonish, 
but I think it works for a tabletop, especially the free foot rule. And, um, you know, once it's dry, then you can obviously varnish it up and uh, do what you will with it. And I think that's, I just think that's brilliant. And, um, yeah, you can, you can use it to do different, um, effects so that was the finished product and there you can see just different uh, variations using the same technique so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it uh, remember all brushes lead to all i will see you on the next video and bye for now folks